Hey guys, Coupons Provide here and today I'm coming at you guys with a requested Target Dollar Spot Planner, Setup and Customization Tutorials. I hope this video inspires you guys to create a functional and adorable system that works for you on a budget. And of course, you guys know I will be repurposing items, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by opening up our binder. Working from the left cover in, we're going to use our Target Dollar Spot 3 count $1 dividers and begin building some pockets. My preferred size for my pockets are going to be 6 inches wide by 3 and a half inches tall. You're simply going to take your pattern of choice and begin measuring out your cuts. You want to measure out 6 inches at the top and 6 inches on the bottom because we're going to use this full sheet to create our pocket. Now do not throw away any scraps because the scraps will come in handy later. My cut is 6 inches wide, now I'm going to measure out my 3.5 inches tall and that is where I'm going to make my first crease. This is going to be the front of the pocket creating the inside of the pocket. And then we're going to take the remaining product and flip it over. Then we'll take the top flap and trim it down to 2 inches. We're going to take that scrap piece and use it for the rest of our envelope so be sure not to toss that either. Once our pocket is folded, we're going to take our scrap piece and cut it in half. We're going to take that piece and begin folding it into a W shape. This is going to allow our pocket to expand. The hubby actually put some input in on this idea. I initially did a flat V, but it didn't open the pocket wide enough. And then he saw that and reminded me of this little system here and it worked out perfectly. So thank you to the hubby for this awesome idea. Basically all we're doing is taking some double sided tape and putting it to the flat parts of the W so that we could stick it to the edges of the pocket. Once that's done we're going to go ahead and put it at the crease and the fold of the pocket on both sides. And the adhesive side facing up is going to stick to the front cover of the pocket and that's going to create our opening. How perfect is that? Now we're going to go ahead and create a closure. You can use the back magnets from a notepad, but I have adhesive magnet. So I'm going to cut off some strips. For my magnets, when you put the two adhesive sides opposite each other, that is the part that sticks. So it's pretty easy to figure out. You just take off the backing and you put it on one side, shut the pocket, and it automatically sticks to the other. So there we have it, a perfect magnetic closure. Now I'm going to go ahead and make the second pocket using my preferred pattern and I just love all the patterns that come in this $1 pack of dividers. It's so nice. So now we're going to go ahead and take our fully folded pockets and put some double sided tape on the back. I chose to go with a thick strip for this one. I picked up this basic brand tape from King Dollar for $1.25 and it's one of my favorite brands. I'm simply going to peel off the cover and stick the pocket down however I choose to put them, which is this one on top. I really love these pockets, guys. They came out perfect and I loved having the hubby's input on it. It worked out so great. That is it for the first part of this tutorial. Now we're going to move into the second project. We're going to create an expandable folder pocket. Now this is going to be a full divider pocket that you could use in between sections or in the front of your binder however you choose to by simply cutting out the measurements that you feel fit your binder best. I'm going to start by trimming down the top of the pocket folder. I want it short enough to where it fits into the binder without hanging out so that the edges don't get messed up. Then I'm going to cut down the actual fold on the divider and I'm going to stop about 4 inches high because that is going to be the actual pocket on the divider. Now you guys see that I am putting the actual paper into the binder, opening and closing it and this is basically the best way to get your product to fit your system the best. Once you have your divider cut down to size, we can open it up and cut the remaining piece on your pocket divider. Now remember the piece that remains at the bottom is going to be the actual pocket, so keep that in mind when making your cut. 
Now you can see our pocket divider beginning to form and we're going to go ahead and grab a scrap piece of paper that matches the pattern and we're going to cut two pieces, one for the bottom and one for the side and do our W fold here again. This is going to allow our pocket to expand if we need it to with any papers that we put into the divider. We're simply going to do the same exact steps that we did to create our magnetic pockets and take the W and put some double sided tape on each of the ends and stick it down at the bottom and stick it to the far right. This is what's going to keep our pocket divider shut. Once we have our pocket divider put together, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that you make any final cuts so that your folder fits perfectly into your system. Now we're going to go ahead and punch our holes. I'm going to use a dashboard that came in a planner set from the Target Dollar Spot, but you could definitely use some cardstock or even some plain paper to create a guide that you could use throughout the life of your binder. Now I noticed when I put the folder into the binder, it did kind of catch at the very top on the corners. All I did was take my scissors and round out those corners and then it fit perfectly in place and I love the end result. All right guys, so project number two is done. Now let's move into project number three, which is going to be creating a dashboard for our binder. Now one of my not so favorite problems about dashboards is that everything tends to lift up and peel from all the movement in the binder. So I wanted to create a dashboard that was sealed off and closed so that we could avoid that problem and give our sticky notes and page flags a longer life in our system. So basically what I'm going to do is take one of the dividers from the previous parts of the projects and I'm going to use that as my fold. You can see that I'm also using the previous divider pocket as a guide to almost mimic the same look. This will pretty much give our dashboard a protected area to sit so that all of our little goodies stay nice and snug in there without being peeled up or damaged. Now since we're working with a scrap piece for our dashboard, we're going to need another scrap piece to make sure that our dashboard closes. I really like the look of the mixed pattern, so I went ahead and grabbed a different pattern to use that as my closure. I'm going to use some double sided tape to put that flap down. Once you have your flap in place, you can go ahead and trim down the edges so that it goes along the lines or along the edge of the actual dashboard. Once that is done, you can go ahead and put it back to back with your previous pocket to make sure that it all lines up and looks very clean and alike. And I'm going to use that divider pocket also as a guide for my hole punches. Now once our gorgeous dashboard is complete, we want to go ahead and create our magnetic closure basically using the same system as the first magnetic closure pockets. We want to take a larger strip and use it to close our pocket. The reason we want larger strips is because we will have bulkier and bigger items in this pocket so it will just help keep it shut. Now I want to repurpose some products here. So now I want to take one of the nine pocket protector sleeves and cut it down to four pockets to fit my dashboard. I use this system in a lot of my binder organization for supplies that I use on the regular and I'm going to put it on the center part of the pocket. I'm going to lay it down with some double sided tape and just like that it becomes a functional piece for my binder organization. Now of course utilizing all of my product, I'm going to cut out some pieces to support some of the products that I'm going to put into it using the scrap pieces from my dividers. 
I'm going to take a scrap strip and add some little pull tabs to some of these cards. And this is just going to add some really cute embellishment, but also serve as a purpose for me to be able to pull it in and out easily without having to dig my fingers into the little pocket. In this pocket, I'm actually going to put the Dollar Tree adhesive divider tabs. I love these tabs and they work for a ton of my organization systems as far as my financial tracking for my YouTube channel and so on. And in the next one, I'm actually taking the packaging paper from the paper clips that I got from the Target Dollar Spot and cut it down. And that is going to be my card that I pull in and out. And I also love to keep on hand extra paper clips, especially the cute ones like this that came from the Target Dollar Spot. And I put those into the sheet. One of my favorite things to have on hand as well are the hole punch round stickers, whatever it is to stop your papers from tearing. And I just add a couple in another one of the pockets. Now moving on, I'm actually going to put down some sticky notes. This is the kind of stuff that you can find most commonly placed on your dashboards. So I'm taking one of the Target Dollar Spot sticky note pads and I'm keeping it on the product packaging and just adding some double sided tape and laying it down on the right side of my dashboard pocket. Now what is a dashboard without page flags? So I'm going to get some of my coordinating Target Dollar Spot page flags and simply cut off that front cover with the captioning on that and simply put some double sided tape and stick that down as well. So looking at the completed project of our dashboard, I have to say that I absolutely love the end result. It fits so easily and so well into the binder. Now I did have one empty pocket, so I decided to get a pack of the Target Dollar Spot sticky notes and peel off a few and it didn't fit in comfortably without trimming it. So I just trimmed it down to my pockets needs and now it fits comfortably. I have to say guys, this is probably one of my favorite projects out of the entire binder layout. Now looking at the binder and all the projects that we've completed this far, I am so happy with how it is turning out. We are definitely creating a very functional system. Now one of my favorite things to have inside of my binders or planners is a notepad. So I feel like the easiest way to get a notepad into the binder is by putting a notepad into the binder. I'm simply going to take a scrap piece and hole punch some holes using my guide and with that little paper or scrap piece, you can take whatever notepad you want in your binder and simply stick it down with some double sided tape. This will make it so easy to access without having to peel off your page. You can just pull it in and out of the rings whenever you need it or you could just quick reference it by flipping through the pages in your actual binder. Now that we have most of our planner set up done, we can go ahead and begin filling our binder with our planner sheets. I simply take my planner sheets from the Target Dollar Spot that came in a set and begin filling my binder. The first section is the monthly. The second section is the weekly planner. The third is going to be notes and ideas. The fourth is going to be meal ideas. Since I am a mom, I got to cook and keep things fresh. Now flipping back to the front, I noticed that I didn't like the way the notepad flipped. So I decided to add a little lip to it so that it had a nice handle that I could grab onto and flip it easily. Again, feel free to grab your scrap supplies and use them up because we want to get the most bang for our buck, literally, since they were only a dollar a pack. Now what planner is complete without some kind of wrap or embellishment? I'm going to take a very mini binder clip and remove one of the sides and add this cute little teddy bear hangy thingy that I found at Dollar Tree in the little machine and wrap it of course with the Dollar Tree headband. If you're new to the channel, I actually featured that Dollar Tree headband idea in a long time ago in my Planner on a Budget update series and my Planner on a Budget series, which is a lot older. So feel free to check those out. Now, I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm out working on things related to my YouTube channel, I have a lot of collected receipts and papers and notes and ideas that I write down throughout the day or that I collect throughout the day. And I wanted somewhere to put those aside from in my back pocket. And I kind of wanted them to be separated and very nice and neat. So I decided to create an accordion folder system that I could use in my binder and separate from the binder as well. 
Also, in all honesty, I just couldn't resist these pineapples, so I had to find a way to work them into the binder. So all we're doing is taking one folder and cutting it down to the, our preferred size for our binder. Now this can be larger than the binder because it's going to be a functional item that you want to be able to use outside of the binder as well, but you want it to be comfortable enough to carry within the binder when you need to. So I have cut down the front side shorter than the back side because the back side is going to be a part of the closure. I am using my first piece as a guide for the next folders that are gonna go inside of the accordion folder. I do want all of my dividers in the accordion folder to be the same size, so I'm gonna take the other folders and cut it to size to match the front cover. Again, the back part is going to be a part of our closure, so we only need the very back cover to be larger than the front cover. Now you can see that cutting the other folders down actually gave us our dividers with minimal work. Now to add that accordion effect to where each divider pocket stretches, we're gonna take a bunch of our scrap pieces that we had left over from our initial cuts, and we're going to do the same exact W shape that we did for the other pockets in the project. I'm simply going to take all those scrap pieces and kind of cut them all to about the same size, just to make sure that it all looks a little more coordinated. And once we have two W's for each divider pocket, we're gonna go ahead and line them all with double-sided tape and begin putting them in place. Now, I'm not gonna lie, guys, this was probably the most tedious and time-consuming part of the project, just because there's so many that you have to fold, and I'm using the plastic part of my scissors to crease it so they have a very nice flat crease. All right guys, so now that we have all 10 pieces double-sided taped and ready to go, we're simply going to open up one pocket at a time and begin sticking down the W's to the edge of each pocket. You're gonna need one for each side and make sure that the opening of the pocket is facing outward. Now simply stick the two sides together and you have one fully formed pocket. And you're gonna do this for however many dividers you have in your overall accordion folder. Once we have all of our pockets stuck together, this is what we end up with. And I have to say that I am very proud of this little accordion folder. So now I'm going to take one of these scrap pieces from the divider because it has the perfect size tab and shape to add another magnetic strip. So I'm going to take some double-sided tape, put that on the underfold of the flap, and underneath that, I'm going to add some more magnetic strip to keep the accordion folder shut. So of course, the bigger the system, the more product it's gonna hold, the bigger the magnet you're going to need to make sure that you don't have a problem with your things falling out or the accordion folder opening. So I'm using some larger strips to keep this accordion folder nice and snug shut. So remember when I said I wanted it to be able to work inside the binder as well, maybe for easy carrying if I'm not using it or if I'm unsure if I'll need to use it? Well, I marked my holes and I'm simply going to take my hole punch and punch holes in the bottom of the accordion folder. It's going to fit my binder perfectly. When it's not too full, it doesn't add too much bulk and it's actually a little surprisingly comfortable inside the binder. I wasn't sure about this idea, but I actually wasn't deterred from it after I had it put together. 
Alright guys, so that is pretty much it for this Target Dollar Spot binder planner setup and customization tutorials. I really do hope that this video inspired you guys to create a functional and adorable planner system on a budget that works for you and your needs. If you are curious, the actual total cost of this planner project came out to... $11 guys, and that gives you overflow product for the rest of the year. Well, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, comment, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Google Plus at Coupon to Provide. And don't forget, guys, keep couponing. Bye.